So we have seen two women from Thailand compete already in this women's free skate. This is the highest rank to those after this short program. Apatavatita Paneshk, 23rd after this short program. But as I mentioned yesterday, she's been dealing with vertigo this past month, which has been affecting her skating. But she's honored and excited to be competing in her home country again. Fataratida Kanesh delighting the fans that have come to support this home skater. You can see the flag being proudly waved there. And this, a much stronger skate for a skater that had two falls in this short program. And she appears to have been struggling perhaps a little bit with injury. She had a stress fracture last April, which made the 2023 season tricky. And I wasn't sure how this season would pay out based on the difficulties she had in the short program, but this much better. The, Judges will assess, oh sorry, the technical panel will be assessing now the rotation. It's certainly a 
huge redemption for the skater. Yeah, this is one of the best programs I've seen her do in the last few seasons on the Junior Grand Prix. Certainly showed moments of brilliance in practice sessions and sometimes in the program, but this was the best overall program. Nice triple lutz, double tolu to open, and that's nice and clean, followed by this triple flip edge or attention to the edge. And there's triple loop, nice and solid, nice and straight in the air today. No leaning and good, strong body core, helping her get that free leg out. And there's the triple loop into the double axle and another double axle. She could feel it. She was on top of her game today, and you can see her just going for everything, not doubting anything. There's triple solid double toe mm -hmm. later in the program. So one, two, three, four, five, six triples in the program. And Actually, just a cue on the Salco. So rotation was deemed pretty favorable, and hopefully this can be a springboard for Fatratida to then move forward from. She's training with Tanya Gamble and Damon Allen. And actually, consequently then, if she's training with Damon Allen, then she'll be presumably in the same rank as Amber Glenn, who just heard did a triple axel and a triple triple. So she's surrounded by other athletes to inspire and motivate her. But it's one thing knowing it and seeing it, it's another thing when you're a 15 year old is being able to acclimatize to your own body and your own development and hopefully this is the return to form for her yeah that'll gain some confidence that's for sure mm, i'm so happy for her this is good because this, this it's a real challenge for a skater like 2022 is when fataratida had 113.99 in her free skate so that's two years and it's not been close to that since and it's so challenging to come to have had success and then struggle to come anywhere close and so this is not going to be like that but a return to it we hope well 87 points for the free program that is first so far with a total competition score of 124.92 And I think they were hoping for a little bit more personal best in the free program was 113.99, so still quite shy on that. 